Well, here we go this week. We picking up, working on this little flat skiff. That's kind of a little rendering. Hopefully, hopefully, if we do what we're supposed to, that's what it'll look like. Color's probably gonna be a little different. I think I've pretty much settled on that. Um, so I've, I've just ordered that. So the, all the paint and stuff will be coming in. So we'll have that to move on to the next step. So last time when I finished, I was just wore out tired and had, had some stuff going on and I just stopped. But I was talking about how I was concerned that I put this um, this kind of second layer of fairing compound, put it on with two, you know that wide knife and put it on a little too thick. You can see that area in the upper right there. It's got some little voids. I'm gonna give you a highlight of that. But as I get in here and start sanding on it, it's not as bad as I thought. It's it's difficult because the color change. I mean, the colors are all kind of similar, and it's really hard to get a clear picture because you, it plays tricks on your eyes with those different colors. Um, because some of that compound was just it, when it mixed up, it was just lighter. Some of it's darker, so it doesn't necessarily mean that all of the dark areas in this example, because this is probably two layers of fairing compound here. And so just I'm, I'm sanding it back and it's going pretty good. You can see we got beautiful weather, shorts and a, you know, and a fishing shirt, it's, uh, nice and warm, which is not to say how it is today, but you know, it was a good day to get out there and work on the boat a bit. And uh, so we're just sanding all of this back, just gonna run through this. It's gonna be pretty short. You can see I'm still, you know, every time I look at those chines, I figure I pick it up and do something with them and I'm, I'm pretty well reserved that I'm gonna stop doing that. But, so we're just sanding off this fairing compound here, these little patches, and then, you know, here it is, we come around and we added a bunch of stuff here to the transom, and uh, we're just gonna sand it back. You can really see how the stuff changes colors here, where you're hitting those high ridges and then the darker areas. Uh, this is a better example because I almost skim coated the whole transom, and, you know, in some, with, with the transom, it's kind of, it's what it needed because it, it still had a lot of undulation, so I won't do that the next time. I think I'll talk about that. Maybe, you know, this little area down here in the bottom right, and then there'll be another one uh, in the upper left and right there. But you, you can see how that, you know, how it turns lighter when you're sanding it back. Once again, I'm using this long board here. It's a Durabond or something like that, Dura Gold or something. And it's got 80, 80 grit paper on it. And, and uh, I'm changing it out fairly regular. You can see here where I get a little better you can see that light there that's where I was able to put it in thinner uh, I don't know if I learned from the front side to the back side but for whatever reason this side here uh, maybe my attitude was better I don't know but just sanding this side back it was pretty good and you know I've, I've, I've really fought with this fairing compound process because it's it's an art it's not um, and it's a skill it's not something you can just do um, so there's consequences when you don't do things right so Part of what I'm learning here is just that process and, and those lessons. But uh, as I put this stuff here on thinner, you can see the pencil marks. It really worked out a whole lot better. And, and this side, you know, this side of the boat is, is certainly a lot farther along for whatever reason, you know, uh, just because I've, I've done it more. It's had more attention and this is probably had one more round of compound. So it's come out pretty uh, a lot better. But we're just going to keep, you know, working on it. I just ordered, like I said, I ordered the paint and the primer. I've talked lots of times here about using a super build primer. And I'm actually going to back off of that simply for the fact that the super build primer or the high build primer, uh, it can't be rolled on. It really needs to be sprayed on. And I don't have the equipment stuff. And I mean, I have a little pancake compressor and I, you know, I could go rent a compressor but it's just not worth it for me. So I think I'm gonna be far enough along here and 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 flat enough and fair enough that, that I'll be able to go straight to, to finish compound rather than using a high build. So that's the path I'm gonna take and I may have to use a little more here or not. But you know, we're gonna learn, we're gonna go and I'm gonna finish it up. So, so transitioning here kind of off of the side and onto the bottom of the hull, it really goes a whole lot faster because, you know, once again, this bottom's just had a couple of touch-ups. You know, you can see the different colors and all that go into it or that you can see. Uh, and it really, really comes out a whole lot smooth. I think this side here, it really looks pretty good. There's a couple little bitty areas where there's a little void or a scratch or a scrape or something like when you're putting this stuff on. And, 
you know, there's, you, you just have to come back and fill up those little imperfections. But by and large, it's, it's looking really good. So we're just going to keep on working on it. Like I said, this is a pretty short video because it's all time lapse. We're going to, you know, give you a little summary walk around here at the end. But uh, we're going to just, I'm just sanding it back and I leave it all in here. So you, you know, people who've never done this, you can kind of see how it changes color. You can see the, hopefully this gives you some, you know, inclination of what the process is like. And, you know, here it is working on that little pad again. I'd put some more compound on there. And I'm still concerned it's not going to come out as straight and as uh, um, perfectly triangular as I'm hoping. But uh, it's kind of about all I'm going to be able to get to this, this go around. I'm going to give you a little summary here and um, keep working on it. Thanks for following along. I really do appreciate it. Well, another day. Looks like we got it all sanded back today. And I can tell you that it came out a lot better than uh, the other side started. You know, especially this bottom here. You can see where I just really, really can even still see the pencil marks. Like here, you can still see the pencil marks. And that's just a real nice light skim coat in there. And so now I know, I feel really confident about this side being ready for primer. And uh, all of this side right in here, it all kind of went really well kind of do a little walk through there's you know there's still a few little spots you know kind of like this here where but instead of having a hundred you know now I have maybe 20 or 30 you know like this little area right in here there's it's like a, I don't know if that compound started kicking and it got a little thick on me but like just that's just gonna take just a little bit of compound right there just to kind of fix that piece and then uh, you know also this little bow section came off it finally feels really good you know that may be worthwhile putting a little bit right there but like this is a really low area here like when you run your hand across it you can really feel it so I may come back and pull some putty right there just a couple of little bitty spots you know nothing near as broad as this um, like I said I feel like now I'm about 95 percent ready I'm gonna try and find another little spot you know just as an example you know still have you know, like these little bitty spots. I mean, that's got to be fixed. Um, it's probably too dark back here. But the transom, it's all pretty much except for this little area right here. I feel like I need a little more putty right there. But just, just that little spot there. And then maybe on the corners. You can see here, there's a, I don't know if the lights, but that's like, that's a little, that's a blank hole. So I really need to feel that. So there's a couple little places like that, but... It, by and large, I feel a whole lot better. I was really worried about how to do this. You know, this side, you know, like I talked about last time, I just uh, was using two, that big old knife just wasn't, and I wasn't pulling it thin enough. Um, the other side, I really seemed like I, I figured that out as I was laying it down. You know, there's another little spot right there on that corner. But I've got to figure out what to do here because I, I don't feel like it's in as good a shape as that other side. I feel like it needs a little bit more, but I may just wait on uh, some high build primer and uh, see what happens there. You know, come on up here. Like I said, you can see like these little spots, that's like a little hole, you know, this one here too. But just take, just take about that wide. And just come in here where it can sand it real back, really easy. Really just spot, just a few spots, but you know, by and large, she's coming around, and uh, I think we're getting closer to putting some stuff down. Kind of see what the bow of it looks like there, the chines and all. You know, I hope it works. I hope it comes out fairly straight, but it is what it is. One thing I'm not sure of is I've got a pretty good, sharp little angle on this bow here. I feel like I should round that over, like a one-inch radius or something. So if you got any ideas on how to do that, I'd be glad to listen. So... Next time, we're going to start uh, doing these little bitty patches and stuff like that and you know, hopefully get this thing all one color. That's my next step here. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to keep working towards it. So hopefully we get some time. But, you know, hate to say, hate to wish for work to slow down to be able to work on the boat. But um, I, I need to work and I need to work on the boat. So thanks for watching, folks.